Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb. In today's video, I'm going to introduce to you how to use Magento Commerce to set up your Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and Google Ads tracking uh, easily with the built-in functionality, especially with Google Enhance e-commerce. Okay, so Magento Commerce, not the open source version, has a very easy setup with Google Tag Manager. It's great. I'm going to show you how to use it. So uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you have accounts. You have a Google Analytics account, you have a Google Tag Manager account, and a Google Ads account, okay? Uh, now, Google Ads is obviously optional, but at minimum, you need to implement Google Analytics and Tag Manager. So what are these things, first of all? Let's say jump into it. Google Analytics helps you track your visitors on site to make sure that you understand who's coming to your website, where are they from, what technical things are they using, which browser, which screen size, which pages are they visiting, um, where, which products are they buying, et cetera, right? Uh, Google Tag Manager helps you organize the code of how you're triggering things to send to Google Analytics and other code like Facebook Pixel and other things like that. And Google Ads or Google Ads, which you want to track your sales, so you'd have to have a Google Ads tracking code, which you're also going to put in Google Tag Manager to implement. So let's let's do a few things. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set up a Google Analytics account. So you're going to go to analytics.com.google.com. You're going to create a new account. If you have a new account, just create it. If you have an existing account, you can use that as well. Note that the, the Magento Commerce only is functioning for Google Analytics Universal. Okay, Google Analytics 4 is not supported yet. So this tutorial is going to be for Google Analytics Universal, which is the most popular one. But as of 2021, Google Analytics 4 is starting to be more and more popular. And uh, eventually, Google uh, Magento will support it. So what you do is you click on Create an Account. And you're just going to uh, create an account, put in your URLs, etc. We're going to skip this for this video. And we're going to go to an account that I already created. So let's go to the account. Let's go to development. Let's find it. Okay, so I created an account right here. Okay, so first thing, once you create an account, you're going to have a few small things to set up. So first of all, you're going to click on admin, and you're going to go here to view settings, and you're going to add this thing. You're going to go down to the site search tracking. And you're going to want to track it. So you're going to want to track more information to know more about your customers. So whenever someone goes to your website and they search internal search, for example, I'm going to search for bag. Okay. Whenever they search, you want to track that to know which terms are searching to add it to Google Analytics. So if you look at the URL, there's a Q equals question mark Q equals the term. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, turn it on, and in the query parameter, you're going to type in Q and you're going to save it. This will help you track. So what does it track? Let me show you an example. If you go here to behavior, you go to site search, and you look at the usage, you'll be able to filter who's, excuse me, let's go here to the correct date, because uh, I just set up this account just for the video. Okay, you'll be able to see people that have visited the site that have not searched and the people that have searched internally. So if you go to the search terms, you'll be able to see people have searched, for example, for bags, shoes, and then you can track more data about them. So this is one set, the first setup you have. The second thing you want to do is make sure you turn on Google Enhanced E-commerce, right? Your e-commerce site, it's Magento, it's a store. You want to make sure you track sales and you track using the enhanced functionality, not just the sale but more de detail. So you're going to go here to e-commerce. You're going to turn, in e turn, in, uh, turn on e-commerce, turn on enhanced, and in the checkout labeling, you're going to add two steps. One is shipping, and the other one is payment, and you're going to click on save. Okay, once you click on save, make sure you refresh the page. Okay, so this is the first thing. Now, I'm going to go here to tracking code under my property, and I'm going to take this code, okay? So we finished the first step of Google Analytics uh, setup, right? Again, this is Google Analytics Universal. I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to go to Google Tag Manager. I'm going to create a new account as well, right? So you're basically going to go to the account, click on New, for example, and then start typing in information. It's going to be Web. You're going to go here and put in the URL, and then Agree, Agree, and then you move on. So what are you going to do here? Let's actually, uh, for video... Um, now, I'm just going to call it, okay? 
for video now I'm just making up something so what are you gonna do uh, obviously you need to agree and, and complete the account you're gonna go to the documentation which is in the description here uh, in Magento Docs and you're gonna actually have to download this GTM this Google Tag Manager configuration file this is gonna set up all the triggers of how things work so I'm gonna explain a little bit the concept of how it works so uh, once I set up the account I'm gonna go here to admin and I'm gonna go here to import container and I'm gonna take this file right here that I download to my computer so I'll right click click on save as and I've already downloaded it before and I'm gonna I'm gonna import it right here I'm gonna click here on the file and I'm going to import it to the existing workspace. Now, if you already have an account, you should do a new works depending on, you know, what your flow is. Okay. And it shows you here, it's going to imp import 11 tags, 10 triggers, 13 variables. So what does that mean? The, so this is the flow. This is going to be what's happening with the built-in functionality for Magento. So Magento, in order to track Google Analytics and especially e-commerce information, Magento in the code is going to send some data to Google Tag Manager, Google Tag Manager is going to pick it up. There's going to be some kind of listening. It's, there's going to be a trigger, right? It says, oh, this thing was sent from Magento. Okay, this is the trigger. For example, add to cart. Oh, once I have this trigger add to cart, I'm going to send a tag, I'm going to send data to Google Analytics to, to tell it, okay, for the enhanced e-commerce, okay, someone added to cart, someone checked out, someone refunded, someone just purchased, someone made an order. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to click on confirm and you're going to implement, import all of this information. So once you import, you're going to have one more step to do. You're going to go to variables and you're going to scroll down to the user defined variables. You're going to click on Google Analytics and you're going to click here on the configuration and you're going to have to put in the account. So when Google Tag Manager sends data to Google Analytics, which account is it sending to? So that's where this thing came in, right? Admin. Go to the property, tracking info, tracking code. I'm going to copy this here. Okay, so I'm going to copy right here, and I'm going to click on save. Now you finished it. Now you have to publish this whole uh, change. For example, GTM uh, and GA for, sorry, GA Google Analytics for Magento Commerce. And you're going to publish it. So once you did that, now we're going to have to go to the third step, which is setting up everything in Magento because, excuse me, Google Analytics is set up, Google Tag Manager is set up. Now you have to tell Magento to every time someone loads their page to load the Google Tag Manager code, which that one will load the Google Analytics code and will send all this data about customers and orders to Google Analytics, and then we're good to go. So what are we going to do? We're going to go to Stores Configuration, and let me just log in. Again, this is a test site, right, just for the video. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to Store Configuration, and I'm going to go to Sales and to Google API, and now I'm going to have two sections here. Now, if you haven't set it up, it'll look like this. It'll basically be disabled and disabled, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to enable it, and you're going to go here, and you're going to select an account type Google Tag <coughs> Manager, excuse me. And you're going to go here to the container ID. You're going to go to your tag manager, click on admin, and you're going to go to your code, install your code. You're just going to find this thing that has a GTM dash, and you're going to copy it. And when you copy it, just paste it here, right? Now, I obviously have a different one because we set up one before, but I'm going to use the real account I made for this video from before. So this is the account I have, um, and so I'm going to go to admin, or I can just see it right there. I can see it right here as well. Okay, I can copy that, and I'm going to put it here, okay? And everything else you can keep the same. You don't have to really touch anything for the default. And uh, Google AdWords, we're going to go in a second. So once you do that, assuming you saved it correctly, you refresh your cache, whenever someone visits their web page, how do you test that you set it up correctly? So go to any page, for example, this category page, and you're going to go to your Google Analytics Go to the real time tab and for example, click on content and see if you have a visitor right here. You'll see in a second. Okay, here's my visitor to my bags page. So I know I visited my bags page. If I click on this duffel bag product page, you'll be able to see here Joust duffel bag 
And if I go here and wait a few more seconds, you'll be able to see that this changes. So you know GTM is triggering Google Analytics. Everything is working correctly, okay? Now, um, let's see what we have next, okay? So now it's good. So now all you have to do is basically make an order to d double check that you have your e-commerce data. So if you go and you actually made an order correctly, and I set up one before the video, you'll be able to see that in basically all of the pages here, you'll have a conversions with e-commerce and you'll be able to see some order. And for enhanced data, if you go to conversions, e-commerce, all of these are the Google enhanced e-commerce. So you'll be able to see even more data. You'll be able to see a funnel from visiting to product views, to add to carts, to checkouts, to orders, which they call transactions. You'll be able to see the checkout behavior once someone goes to the checkout page. Step one would be fill out your shipping information. The, the second part of the funnel would be fill up your payment and then buy. And then you'll be able to see more information about the products, the SKUs. You'll be able to see uh, the orders. You can look at the detail of the orders and the product list. People have searched and add to cart and these kind of stuff. So now all of your Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce is here. The last thing we're going to cover in this video is adding tracking for Google Analytics, Google AdWords, excuse me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to yes. If you have Google AdWords, you're going to go, for example, I have an account. You're going to go to your Google AdWords account. You're going to click on tools and conversions because you want to track, you want to send more data to know uh, if your ads are making money or not and make adjustments. So once you do that, you're going to get to this page. You're going to click on new and you're going to create a new website conversion and you're going to call it purchase, right? and you're gonna specify use a different value. What that means, and of course specify your, uh, your currency. What that means is every order you wanna specify how much someone ordered because you're spending a certain amount of money on ads, but then uh, different customers are ordering different products, different order amounts. So you wanna make sure that you have the correct data to specify to Google Ads how much the order was for each order. And then you're gonna go down here and this, depending on how you want to run, you don't have to do this. This is basically a setting. This is not a conversion setting. This is more about how you bid. Um, and you're going to go here. Let's just, let's say I think I had one before. I'm going to click on continue. Once you do that, you're going to click on Google Tag Manager. You're going to take the conversion ID right here. You're going to go here, type in conversion ID, and then you're going to take the conversion label and you're gonna put here the conversion label and you're gonna save it. Once you do that, Google Analytics, or sorry, Magento is gonna send data to Google Tag Manager and Google Tag Manager is gonna send data back to Google Ads. And now you have tracking Google, you have Google Tag Manager so you can easily organize your code. You have Google Analytics, you have within Analytics, you have enhanced e-commerce and you have tracking for ads on Google Ads. And you have a great foundation, which is out of the box in, and working correctly. And this great thing that Magento Commerce built. Um, that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, any detail about Tag Manager, Google Analytics, Magento, Magento Commerce, e-commerce related things, message, subscribe to our channel, uh, share with your friends, and ask us questions. We're always uh, happy to answer and communicate with you guys and just share knowledge with Magento and e-commerce in general. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you again.